Well, love bugs are interesting little creatures and misunderstood for sure. They're flies. They're not bugs like a stink bug. They're actually a fly, like a little gnat or a mosquito. That's what they're related to. And they don't harm anybody. They're called nuisance pests. Love bugs are along the Gulf Coast states. They came to Florida just after World War II, we think pretty much by themselves, from Yucatan. And they radiated across to Florida, and we had a lot more of them then than we do now. And the lovebugs are attracted to exhaust from engines like lawnmowers and uh, automobiles, uh, power washers, and so forth. So we know that's true. Uh, we also know they're attracted to heat. So these kinds of things are right along highways. The males swarm, and, and sometimes they swarm rather high, and sometimes right along the ground. But they swarm over places where the females emerge. So the males come out sooner, they wait for the females, and compete for the females. Love bugs have no uh, risk to human health whatsoever. They don't transmit diseases, they don't bite, they feed on nectar, they couldn't bite you if they wanted to. The, the concern basically is that we will have um, damage to paint on vehicles. That white gooey mess that you see on the car is really the eggs. And they're little round eggs that you can see if you have a magnifier. They aren't acid and they aren't basic. They're fairly neutral. So what causes the problem is leaving those on the car until the sun and the heat and perhaps microorganisms cause them to be damaging. So the trick is to get them off of your car as soon as possible. Love bugs are another one of those, those creatures in nature. And they tell us when it's going to be summer, when they come out in May, and they tell us when it's going to be fall, when they come out in September. So they are kind of a, uh, an organism that brings in the seasons.